doing a lightning talk, so bear with me. So I'm here to talk about a TV show you may have heard of, The Simpsons. Um, you can follow along with this presentation at that URL. Um, I have done a lot of machine learning, um, and I'm waiting for the next slide right now. <laughs> I guess the timer's messed. Okay, cool. So I was sitting around bored one day, um, and I was like, so what do the Simpsons characters think of each other? How do I know? So you have all these episodes across all these seasons, and I was just wondering how could I quantify that across everything. Um, so what I did is I first looked at the transcripts of the show. So I went online, I started Googling around, and I said, um, how can I find the lines of the show, and how can I find them with the speakers labeled? And this is what I got, and it's like a mess. Like, you can't see who's speaking what line, you can't get any useful information to figure out if they like each other. Um, so what I did first is I took these lines and I hand-labeled some of them. Um, so I used natural language processing, ooh, fancy term, uh, to, to like put these lines into clusters. So we can see which characters are similar to each other and how they're speaking. And we can also see which words each character speaks most often. So Homer always says Marge. Marge always says Homer. They're kind of boring. Um, other characters say other words, but basically the show centers around Homer. Everyone's talking about him. Um, so that's a key takeaway there. Um, so then I used a bunch of computer stuff. Um, so I decided to kind of label the unlabeled lines, because I had already labeled some of the lines. So I used some algorithms to label the rest. Um, and then I got really thirsty and I failed at ordering a tab. That's a Homer quote. Um, so this is what I got after I labeled all the lines. So some of the scenes that I ended up labeling by, by computer, by algorithm, were good. Some of them were really bad, like Homer saying, dispatch, this is Chief Wiggum. Obviously that's not Homer, that's Chief Wiggum. Um, so then I said, wait, there's more. I can look at the audio information. So one of these is Homer speaking a line, and one of these is Lisa speaking a line. So they're actually really different, and you can take that information and use it to figure out who's speaking the line directly instead of looking at the text. So that's what I did. So I found a bunch of subtitles, um, and then I found a bunch of videos of, of The Simpsons, and I took out the audio, and I, I synced the audio with the subtitles. Um, so by doing this, you can figure out basically uh, which, which character is speaking directly. So I then used some audio features to make audio fingerprints. So more fancy terms. Uh, male frequency sepstrums, zero crossing rate, all of these are different audio features that let you figure out who's actually speaking different lines. Um, so these are the audio fingerprints. So you can project all of those features into 2D, and you can see how different each character's voice is. So Homer is pretty similar to Bart. Uh, Lisa and Krusty are pretty close. I don't know how this lines up with the actual voice actors. That would be cool. Uh, for someone to look at. Um, so then you can figure out who's in the scene. So you can, now that you have all the lines of the characters labeled, um, if characters are next to each other, then they're probably in the same scene. So if characters are in the same scene and they're saying bad things about each other, they probably hate each other. So, so then I did sentiment analysis, um, which Rob talked about a little bit, but basically sentiment analysis um, is a fancy way to figure out how people feel about each other from the things they're saying. Um, so I did a bunch of sentiment analysis, and I got this. So this is how the character on the, on the right feels about the character on the bottom, because it's not always the same. Some characters like other characters and aren't liked in return. So Mr. Burns kind of hates everybody, uh, Krusty kind of likes everybody, um, and that, I, wish I, I wish I had left that chart on for two slides. Uh, but Burns hates everybody, is what this chart is telling us. He hates Krusty the most for some reason. I guess Krusty pissed him off, did something bad. Um, he hates Bart a little less than the rest. Um, Bart um, really likes Burns, which is weird. Um, he really hates Skinner, obviously. Um, he's, he's okay with Mo. Maybe Mo's giving him some beer on the side, who knows. Um, Keith, Marge and him are okay. He doesn't really like Lisa very much. Um, so ways to do this better. Um, so it would be cool to directly look at the audio and figure out emotion from that, um, depending on a person's different waveforms when they're talking. Um, it would be also cool to actually look at the video directly and figure out who's in the scene and try to correlate their emotions from how they're acting in the video. So conclusions. I had a lot of fun. Um, some stuff is tricky. Look at my blog for more details on this stuff. Um, and always 